This is example number three. Our formula is A over B plus CH equals D. We want to make H the subject of the formula. The best thing to do, first of all, is treat this thing as one thing for the moment. That will allow us to move it onto the right hand side. At present we have B plus CH dividing on the left. If we move it onto the right then it's going to multiply. So A equals D times B plus CH. Remembering that we want H to be the subject of the formula, so the best thing we could do at present is to flip things around to get H onto the correct side. So if A equals D B plus C H, then D B plus C H is equal to A. Our next step is to multiply out this bracket. That will make things easier in the long run. So first of all, D times B is D B plus D times C H, which is D C H. That is equal to A. So the next best thing to do is take this db and move it on to the right hand side. So db means plus db. If we move it on to the right hand side, it becomes minus db. So we have dch on the left. We still have a on the right. Plus d becomes minus db. So we had plus db and that has now become minus db. So we have dch equals a minus db. We want h as the subject of the formula. So we're going to move the dc. dc is currently multiplying the h. So if we move dc onto the other side, it will divide. That means we have H equals A minus DB divided by DC. What we can do now is split this into two separate fractions. The reason we want to do that is we will be able to simplify one of those as a result. So H equals A over DC minus DB over DC. If we look at the fraction on the right hand side, we have db over dc, our d's can cancel. That leaves us with h equals a over dc minus b over c. h is now the subject of our formula, so that is our final answer. This is example number four. The formula is F equals G M times small m over D squared. This is a formula used in physics for working out gravitational force. The subject of the formula is F. We want to change the subject of the formula to D. The first thing to do is Take our d squared from the bottom on the right hand side and move it onto the left hand side. 
it is on the bottom on the right which means it is dividing so when taking it onto the left it will multiply that gives us d squared times f on the left and g m small m on the right we want the subject of the formula to be d so what we need to do is move the f so that would leave d squared on the left hand side we have g m small m on the right hand side still f was multiplying d squared on the left so when we move it to the right it will divide so we have d squared equals g m small m divided by f we want the subject of the formula to be d so we have d squared on the left becoming d in order to do that we have to unsquare it or in other words take the square root so square root on the left hand side means we must do the square root on the right also so d equals the square root of g m small m over f d is now the subject of the formula so this is our final answer